Hey guys, so we've got Josh Ball in this one back again. So he's one of my favorite photographers or well, portraits anyway. So we've got his image from his Instagram right here. And we're going to be trying to recreate the exact edit with the exact raw image. His feed is really, really smooth in the way of contrast and texture. So like clarity and sharpening and stuff like that. And it's very warm as well. So we've got to play with the blues and the warmth. Yeah, there's matte to the image. So yeah we're gonna play with all those colors as i said main color is warm and he's a guest editor in the course so he teaches four lessons with his images supplying you guys with the raw image the preset then takes you through the edit start to finish because that is the way i believe you learn photo editing that's how i learned with getting these raw my hands on these raw images and presets and stuff so that's why i go through such an extent to make sure you guys get the raw image and the preset because i know what it's like applying a preset to an image and then not knowing what to do and then not knowing color theory and then not knowing the tools and depth enough to craft the style you want or get the same results as all these people so that's why i believe you need all of these resources raw image preset least and the why to get the end result and get the style you want to your images and whether that's to have a consistent feed on your instagram or impress your friends or land more jobs uh, there's plenty of reasons people join up in the course if you're a wedding photographer i just thought everything looked fake everything looked crap my photos felt a bit generic they felt a bit formulaic i was like anti-editing basically you distilled the formula i'll also be linking him down below so go give him a follow check out his youtube as well i'll link that up and check out his presets if you really like his style i'll link those everything in the description let's get into this one so 1.2 f-stop dml iso 2000 shutter 250 nothing crazy going on uh 1.2 just gives you that very creamy look to the image okay so the first thing we'll do we'll come down and do profile corrections now there is a heavy vignette on his edit but i think profile corrections is important for this image because we have so many lines from the building and stuff so we'll, we'll do the profile corrections and then manually put in the vignetting so i'm just going to start off with a bunch of warmth because his image has so much warmth okay we'll go like something like that now we want to take away this harshness let's drop that down um and the whites the punch um take out a bit of contrast because we're going to turn on the curves and you'll see what we do here We've got this curve already done, so this one is just taking out a bit of contrast, flattening the image a bit, like we're, we're really capping off those whites a bit, um, and then we're giving a bit of a lift to the black so they're not real harsh and black, and a bit of a fade and drop to the mids, but we'll come into this one, I, I, I like working with this one as well, and let's drop the darks, and it's going to give us heaps of contrast. But we'll soften up the contrast soon. Um, down. So I like I like using this tool. It gives me a lot of control over the, the especially when you're trying to add matte to an image. Reduce the contrast a bit. Blacks can come up. Okay. Um, I like vibrance up. Do some saturation. It's too saturated, obviously, but we'll we'll do some knocking down of the colors you can straight away see the blue matte needs to come way down so we'll do something like that uh greens roughly roughly in line with everything okay so i'm gonna come down to vignetting i think it's important so let's focus in on the subject frame our subject a bit extra do something like this and this um i always put the highlights up and while we're here, we'll do some grain. Decent amount, but I will drop the size a little. Okay, we just need a lot of warmth still. So let's come to color grading. Uh, here we have the highlights. So I just think like, especially here, which is probably the brightest part of the image, it's just, just not as warm as his. So, and I think we need a lot. So we're gonna go with that. And then I'm just gonna balance that out with basically the opposite color, which is um, like this blue, blue tealy color. Okay, but if we come to HSL now, we'll like fine tune some things. So we probably need some saturation and the oranges a bit more. 
And by the way, if you're inside the course, you have access to the raw image to follow along. And I believe the settings will be done for you in the form of a DNG, because I honestly believe that's the way you learn instead of just hoping with a completely different raw image a bit of a pop to like the skin and stuff so let's just touch the oranges a little yellows a bit as well pop to a here in the background there and i think it looks good and the greens a bit of a pop okay we're about done so we'll go to filters now now this is pretty important we'll start with this bottom one here so let's um, frame our subject better let's darken the bottom so our eye gets brought upward to the subject sweet that's all we need to do for that one on the subject here ever so slightly brighten maybe you want to do the shadows a little mm. and then this big one here from the left i just want to like enhance the soft feeling of the light coming from the left just very subtly cut up the shadows to make it look soft and you might want to like drop the highlights to keep i mean the whites just to remove any punch keep it soft um yeah i might come back to hsl and really drop these blues and aquas more but yeah we are done i i do see a difference in matt like his image like the contrast i think we just don't haven't nailed the mat i see it but maybe you guys don't yeah i personally find it really hard and that's why i love these images with a lot of matte in it because it is hard to achieve and but it looks really really good that looks quite close i would be kind of happy with that reset after but yeah we got pretty close there's still a few differences i see like we are holding way more blue here even though we have saturation so far down so i'm not sure what he's doing to get rid of those blues introduce more warmth in a natural looking way i mean we could try a bit more warmth but i think we are a long way there i think we need to reduce the clarity actually and then maybe a bit more grain. We're pretty good. Um, he breaks down exactly how he does it with the raw image and preset. So you can just follow along and get the exact same results on your computer with over a hundred lessons from other photographers as well. Because that is how you learn. That is how I learned. It's the best way to learn. It's probably the, I'm probably like the only person in the world that learned that way because through this YouTube channel, I was able to get the raw image from these amazing photographers. And that's how I learned so fast because i probably started like four years ago that is key to get those resources go give him a follow links down in the description and i will catch you guys in the next one